today I want to look at CLNV or a Clean Vision Corp. If you've seen my previous upload on it, we did a deep dive into the company. I believe now we're at a crucial point where it's going to explode and possibly smash all time highs. Now on the table, this leaves a potential two to three X very quickly on your investment, which would leave it around 20 to 25 cents upside potential, I think short to midterm view. Now, again, the only reason I think that is once you break that all-time high barrier, it's just really interesting to see what's going to happen with no data you know, above that certain price level. So we don't know if it could snap to 30 or 40 or 50 cents quick, but on a conservative level, I think once it breaks that 11.5 all-time high, or really, I think once it breaks down this here, um, we're going to see some, some fireworks go. So overall, I want to look back in the past and show you why you should not chase the stock and how we've been able to help CLNV by showing them a method of taking from the short sellers instead of actually falling into their trap, right? So looking back, I think it's very important to observe this supply zone. It's between the 236 or right where this gray line is, okay? So really between 8.5 and 8 cents is really that hot zone where sellers are trying to step in and actually knock the price down, okay? On the flip side, I'm going to show you where buyers are stepping in here. And we see that right on the yellow arrows here where this is a heavy demand zone or what I would say is sub 5 cents is a very heavy demand zone in which buyers are going to step in and try and drive the price up, which is just the exact inverse of what the sellers or the supply zone is. So now when we just get rid of it here, I want to show you percentages and why we say wait for your price. Okay. So right here in the beginning of January or the beginning of this year, we saw three trading days where it got very close to breaking above eight, five. Now, right after that, the three days that followed, we saw they dropped the stock 40%. And by they, I would mean someone that's selling stock, someone that's trying to drive the price down, a short seller, some entity, whatever it might be. Okay, so that was a 40% drop where you could have then reaccumulated at 5 cents. Okay, goes right back up the week after, test this range again. We see they knock it down 25% within two trading days. Okay, again, retesting this range, right in the gray range. We see once, again, retest the gray, gray range twice. We'll make this yellow so you can see. Now, as it comes back into this range again for a third time, well, what happens? You know, within four trading days, they knock the price down another 40%. So this goes back to even my GNS video. When I first made the first upload I ever did of it, when I said, listen, guys, don't chase the stock. You know, if it's running hard in pre-market, odds are that is a FOMO trap. That's a trap to uh, entice someone like a retail investor to buy the stock at this range and let's say let's say hypothetically we do the same thing for clnv they drive the price all the way up here so you buy you accumulate you think oh my god it's going to break out it's going to run it's going to run and you play the breakout mentality but it doesn't happen and the stock gets knocked now you just saw minus 40 percent here right so that might make someone panic and sell which makes it easier to drive the price down same thing here same thing here okay so i always say don't chase wait Okay, wait for your price. Now, in this case, we are retesting this zone here. Okay, we are back in the zone. So what is going to happen? I think if we break out, we're going to test right at the top here at nine and then 10 one. Okay, very simple. I've had this mapped out for a very long time. Everyone knows me with my charts. I've had this triangle or what you want to call bilateral triangle. Um, there's many ways you can draw it, but I think this one is more significant because it's on the macro view. It's a daily chart. It's not a five minute chart or 15 minute. This is a lot of data and on a very large scale frame. So this is extremely significant. And I think when it breaks out, it's gonna you're gonna see fireworks. I really do. Um, it's just a matter of if it's gonna do that. Is it going to need, you know, more accumulation and then, you know, redistribute higher? Very possible. I don't know if, you know, they're going to break out above here and then come back down and, and reaccumulate this zone. What I would think would make the most sense if we are bullish. And again, I'm loving the volume here. Everything is lining up volume and the price action. If in the best case scenario, we do break out. I think it's very possible we could see it break out, come back down, reaccumulate this zone here, and then end up taking that next leg. Okay, because there might be some resistance at this high of the run here, which we see is the 0% or right at 10.1. So I wouldn't get this courage if it breaks out above and then ends up coming back and retesting this zone before actually taking that next leg or breaking all-time highs. Okay, that's very possible. Once sellers break down, and they are not able to hold that price level, bulls will step in and probably rebuy or reaccumulate 
end up sending it higher. Okay, that's what I think is going to happen. Or it just goes all out, just craziness, and we just see it go boom and break, and the next test will be 11.5. Okay, so CLNV, again, you know, doing everything they can. Love the business, love everything about it. If you haven't, you could check out the description, or I should have posted the video link somewhere, maybe right at the beginning of the video you saw uh, the link to the Clean Vision one where I do a full deep dive into the whole company, what they're about, everything with their products, their technology, and, and everything that you would need to know uh, that would clarify, you know, your understanding of clean vision. Okay. So that's pretty much it. The way I drew the fibs was right to the significant point here, uh, which we saw was a low of three cents. The high here at 10 one, that is the fib. If you want to be more conservative, again, you can do that here and, and go to the, the point where we saw was uh, again, a significant bottom. You can do that here. I like this range better. It makes the most sense. It shows right at the two, three, six, where I feel like is the strongest resistance point, which is right here. OK, we break that down. I think it's going to make life a lot easier for clean vision or anyone holding the stock. All right. That's my two cents on clean vision. Again, I appreciate you guys support. I have started uploading a post on my truth social uh, truth social at avid trader, just straight, no spaces, underscores, anything. Um, You can follow me there again. I'm trying to resolve the issue with Twitter. So I really appreciate if you guys could help share the videos, really just spam the link everywhere. If it's on Twitter, on stock twits, uh, they're really trying to suppress this channel and keep the views low on YouTube. So I don't want to be, you know, this, this, Oh, please like, or please subscribe or a million emojis on the screen. You know, I don't do that, but if you can please like comment and try to engage on the post as much as you can, it will help with the algorithm. And again, during this time where I do feel like I am being shadow banned or I am, you know, trying to be suppressed here, it helps to get as much eyes on this as possible. So appreciate you guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.